What's going on y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the city sample crowds that came out with the Unreal Engine 5 Matrix demo. So it's right here. I went ahead and downloaded it and I went ahead and added it to a project so we can save the plugins and the compiling shaders. We don't need to see all that. So I just added it to a project and the project I have here opened. If this is the first time of you using it, you're going to be restarting a lot and enabling a lot of plugins because this is meta human based after all. So what is this thing and why is it such a big deal? If you're looking for a way to pretty much populate your scene, this is what this blueprint is perfect for, in my opinion. So it's right here, city sample crowd and we'll go to the blueprints and I'm gonna go ahead and just drag one right here on the side. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and get closer to this and I'll just rotate him so you can kind of see better. And right off the bat, you're gonna notice that this blueprint already has the character perform some facial animation, especially uh, blinking. You can see that eyes are moving and blinking, which is freaking cool. But if you go to the right side in the details panel, you scroll down, you're gonna see some character options. So this is pretty much a mini character meta human creator blueprint that you can use for your projects. It's pretty insane. Now we can change the gender, the body type, the head index. The head index this is gonna give you a different type of face. So you can see that changed. And we can change the hair, eyebrows, everything that you see here, you can change up to six different options because it starts with zero and it goes all the way to five. So you can see right here. So we'll go to number one again. So basically what I'm gonna use this for, like I said, is to populate a scene. For example, this club right here. What if I wanna populate this with meta humans and not necessarily UE4 mannequins? So let's go ahead and delete some UE4 mannequins here. Delete this, delete this. And you know, for the first one, that's fine. We'll just leave it just like so and maybe have it turn around. And another thing that's cool about this is they actually come with some idle animation and walk animations as well. So if we go to the crowd character right here, if we scroll up, we're gonna change this from blueprint to animation asset. And if I type in idle and scroll down, I can actually go ahead and select this. And if I press play, you're gonna see that he's gonna be doing a idle animation like he's holding a cup. And just like that, you have somebody in the crowd. And that's just super cool. If I go right here, you know, you can just be watching that. He's holding his drink and we can keep adding this. Add another one in here and it's gonna be specifically unique to the settings that we are now gonna change. So right there, and I'm gonna go back right here. Let's say, you know what? I want the number two guy. Additionally, I can change the hair to number one, maybe a little bit of long hair, and then I can change the outfit to a different one so you can kind of see. And again, <laughs> So a bunch of dudes in this club is starting to look like a, I'm gonna go ahead and go right here and rotate it. And again, we'll give this guy an animation already built in this another idle animation or something, right? So if we go FTN, so we have a cell phone one here as well. So we have one drinking coffee or a drink and we have one checking Twitter or Instagram, whatever, right? So if I press play, now you have these two meta humans in here. Now this is extremely powerful. This blueprint is insane, it's amazing. And what I'm actually trying to figure out right now is like I said in the demo, the actual big city demo, I wanna be able to use that AI with this. Now I tried doing it a couple of ways and I can't figure it out, but basically I want an entire block or street populated with these without actually having to manually assign the animation per character. Because if you downloaded the Matrix demo or you've seen my videos on it, you're gonna see that these characters move on their own and they actually have an artificial intelligence and one of them actually ran into a poll in my previous video, but that's what I'm gonna try and use. But for simple scenes like this, I can just populate the scene with different blueprints. And I can maybe change this one to a female, All right? So if I change this to a female, this is probably gonna take a second to load. All right, so that took about like maybe a minute for it to change to a female, but now we can have, you know, this female now hanging out in there as well. And if I change this blueprint again for another idle animation, variation looks like this, and maybe change her clothes. So we got, where's the clothes? Alpha material, maybe a two, change that. And now she's got a different kind of clothes in there, or maybe even three. Well, let's do three and then change the pattern to like a different pattern and then change the color. 
maybe give her a maybe give her a bag or something you know like a backpack you know and this is gonna prepare textures but that's pretty much it and if you are good with blueprints or you have general idea on how they work you can even add different faces on this if i go back to this right here and i go to character they're actually broken down into different like a female there's one two three four five six you can change the face mesh if you want of the character in there so you can customize this and maybe even add more clothes to that and it's crazy man and it's totally free that unreal engine just epic games just kind of tossed to us and just said, you know, go create something. But what I'm gonna do next is actually try and figure out to see if I can steal these clothes and to use them with my own MetaHuman. Anyways, if you wanna learn more about Unreal Engine, please do subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year and I would really truly appreciate it.